Hey, are you home? Open up. Tina? Where are you? Right in front of your house. How long are you going to make me wait? I'm sorry, were we expecting you today? No! Do I need a reason to come to my son's house? Is that what you're implying? Uh, no. I'm out, so I can't come to the door. We weren't expecting any visits. Work? Your office is near the house, right? Come over here immediately. I can't. It doesn't work that way. Please understand. So you're telling me to wait hours for you to come home? How dare you? You know I work full time. You're the one coming unannounced. Wouldn't you think it's obvious that you're in the wrong? None of your cheeky business. Ugh, whatever. I still can't be there right now. I have to earn a living. Call your son. I can't get through with my son. That's why I'm here, isn't it? We didn't ask of you. What? Your son's home, by the way. Wake him up if you please. He'll let you in. What? Wake him up? Is he still sleeping? He was out late and came home in the morning. He was drinking, so I don't think he'll be up till afternoon. He was out that long? Oh, my boy. He must be so stressed. I... Guess so? Is there malice in what you're saying? Of course, I'm saying you're the one responsible. My son never took a sip of alcohol until he married you. You must be a bad influence to him, stressing him out. Are you saying that our marriage is the cause of his stress? It must be least affecting him somehow. Living far away from me, never allowed to see his parents. He must be having a hard time. I always tell him that he can go wherever or whenever as much as he pleases. As a matter of fact, he actually visits you every weekend. And what is wrong with that? You won't let him be free to come back home. Okay, I never said that. He was out drinking with his friends last night. He's not sleeping in because he's stressed. He's just tired because he stayed up the night. Even so, his drinking habit is all because of you. You're owning to this stress. I seriously doubt that. He seems to be living a stress-free lifestyle as far as I know. What are you talking about? Anyways, it's not a good idea for you to be at the front door for so long. And I can't be there, so please, kill the time or go on home. Wait, can't you bring me the keys over lunch break or something? What's the meaning of a lunch break if I don't get any break? I need to eat. No, you don't. You think lunch is more important than me? As I said, you can go home. I'm not getting off until 5 p.m. How dare you! To think I came for nothing! You should have called beforehand. Or talked to your son. I can only be at home on the weekends. I know that. But you should get off work on the days I come. I didn't know you were coming, okay? I just got a text. He's woken up. Oh, good for you. I'll be waiting inside till you come back. Come home soon. What? You don't need to wait up for me. Are you there, Tina? Tina, how long are you intending to stay? As long as I want. It's my right as a mother. That may be so, but it's draining our schedule. Uh, 
How rude! My son says he has still three days off. I'm planning to stay for the time being. You don't mind, do you? No, but... Would your husband be okay alone? I don't care about him. He keeps on complaining on everything I do. I think it's the best for us if I just never went back, you know. What do you mean by that? I mean, I would come live with you too. That will teach my husband a lesson. I don't think that's a good idea. Did you two fight? Not a fight to be exact. I said to him that we should live in with our son and make for their own good. He objects. Haha, <laughs> that's the reason of the fight. Yes, so it clearly involves you. But then, he was really mean to me. Let the newlyweds have their space, he says. Right, now I get it. I'm just concerned about your future. What if one of us gets sick? Or if you have grandchildren? We should be supporting each other, don't you think? I think that doesn't mean we should live together in the same house. What are you talking about? Your husband is my only son. He is the one who will take care of us in our old age. Our grandchild is our precious heir. I need to supervise your parenthood, or else who knows how the poor child will end up. Even if we have children, they will be our child before your grandchild. I will bring him up how I would want to. No way. I can't allow that. This is why you are not suitable for my son. Suitable? A bride's only job is to deliver a baby. Bringing up a child should be done by the groom's experienced parents. My husband and I will make the child a proud heir. I have never heard such a thing. So you're saying you're going to take away my child from me? Yes. You're working full time anyways and won't have time to care. And if there's a possibility you would quit your job after childbirth, all the pressure is on our son. I have every right to bring up my own child. You can take them away from me. It's not normal. Oh, but it is. You just don't understand it. Hmm. What you're saying is... My husband and his sister was brought up by their grandparents as well. Not in their case. I didn't have a job. What? Then... I'll quit mine. Huh? If your husband brought food to the table and you nurtured the children at home, it won't be that different for your son to work and for me to be a stay-at-home wife. You're not listening to me. This will be a burden for him. It's a burden for me too. I have to take care of someone's life at home. Stop squibbling, you. I don't intend on having a child I can't parent. We're not stable enough as it is. <laughs> You're already 27. When I was your age, I already gave birth to two. Different times and different measures. If we had twice the income and savings, then we might think about having children. How come you don't have enough savings? You both work jobs. You don't know, figures. I've been trying to tell you, your son's unemployed. Don't lie to me. That isn't possible. It's your fault you can't manage the books. You must be on a spending spree or something. Ah, uh, I only get my hair done twice a year. I work full time every day. And I on a spending spree? What kind of meds are you on? I heard from my own son. He's been working so hard and you make him do house chores. 
Huh? Who's working so hard? My son! He's lying to you. He spends his day playing games and the least he can do is housework. I think it will be good for him. That's enough. You don't get a say in what your husband does. If he doesn't want to do the chores, then tell him to go get a job and earn more than me. I don't want any part in this argument. You'll regret this, I'm telling you. <sighs> if you say so, I don't care in the slightest. I'm going back to work. Wait! We're not done yet! Are you there, Mick? Is it true you're going to be away this weekend on a business trip? Yes. Then, I'll stay over again this week while you're gone. My son and I need some bonding together. Ah, your son said. He'll be out drinking with his friends. Won't be back till morning again. <laughs> I already talked to him about that. Okay, sure. Do whatever you want. I don't need your permission. It's my son's house. I need to check. You're only home on Sunday, right? That's the plan. I was thinking of popping to check in on my parents and be back by Sunday afternoon. Hmm, is that so? Why don't you stay with them for a while? It's closer to your office too. There will be too much luggage and my files are back at the house, so I need to come home anyways. No. Oh. Come on and have some time for yourself. My son and I are planning to declutter the house on Sunday. You know how he hoards stuff in his room. We were talking that I should get on with it while I'm there. Oh, very well. I can help. It's okay. You're always tired. I'll handle everything. Think of it as a small getaway. Me? Tired? A getaway? You said you were busy with work. It'll get dusty and noisy when we're cleaning. It's better for all of us. What are you up to? Mm, I'm not up to anything. You make me seem hateful. I was honestly just trying to help. Right. I'll take you up on the offer. I'll pack my things for the weekend and take them with me on a trip. I'll see you Monday then. Wonderful. Take as much time as you want. Oh, it still feels weird. I can't explain it. Uh, what is going on? Oh, you're back. How was the trip? Please explain. There's no explanation. It's as it seems. My son and I moved out. What? If you desperately want us to come back, apologize for what you've done. Beg for it in tears. We might consider. What will it be? <laughs> what do I need to apologize for? How can you be so selfish? You're the one that's selfish, disregarding both your husband and I. Won't have any children. Always working and never cared for the family. It's as if you're wearing the pants in this house. You know there's a logic reason? I don't care about your reasoning. You want your husband back? Let all of us live together as a family. What? If you accept... Then we'll tell you where we are. I guess I'll never find out then. What? Ugh, for the life of me. I don't give a damn about your whereabouts. But it will be inconvenient to live on like this. Can you have your son sign the divorce papers? Wait a minute. You aren't seriously letting us go? Dead serious. 
Actually, it's a dream come true. <laughs> I finally get the parasite out of my life. Huh? You are the parasite. The good for nothing wife. Nuh-uh. Your son can't hold down a job. You aren't capable of listening anything that I say. Barging into my house and linger for days. Hold down who? Your son. I already told you. He's a damn couch potato. I have never heard of this. Why don't you look back at all of our texts? I explained it to you because you were so persistent. We talked about the house chores, don't you remember? My son hasn't told me anything. He did threaten me not to tell his parents. I try to keep quiet, but I've reached my limit. I can't keep his ego and check for him. Some useless ego he has. Are you making fun of him? Not only him, you too, Tina. What? My brilliant son, my apple in my eye, if only he didn't marry her, and so on, it makes me laugh. Your son is a no good man than you think. Have you no shame harassing us like that? Who's harassing who? You never cared about a word I said. That's because you never fully explained anything. I did, but you didn't believe me. N no, you choose to speak so we can't comprehend. Fine, I'll start from the top. Keep your eyes and ears open this time, okay? Huh? Your son quit his job three months ago. Since then, he hasn't looked for a new employment and became the loser couch potato that he is. Who are you calling a loser? Your precious son, of course. I'm the one bringing food to the table, working my ass of morning to night. I pay for your living while you stayed with us. You see how it won't help me or you financially if you lived with us? I don't believe you. My son can't be. I was waiting for him to get on his knees and beg for mercy while he would hunt on a job. But that never happened. And even allowed you to manipulate our lives. The nerve. Wait, wouldn't it be beneficial for you to live with us? How would it be beneficial? More people equal more chores. I have never seen you help us in the house, like doing the laundry or cleaning the dishes. I just thought I should respect not to touch others' belongings. Respect? <laughs> you talk of respect when you barge in your son's house unannounced? You care about that? Well, I... Besides, you just went back to your own house, didn't you? Judging by the heavier belongings that are still here, my guess is that you couldn't afford to have someone carry them. Your son's unemployed and he doesn't have the money. Not even to get a new place. I don't understand. This is the part where you beg us for our forgiveness. No way. If you want things done the way you want it, turn your personality around 180 degrees and have your son find a job for God's sake. It's your job as a wife to support your husband. Just because you have a job, big deal. And I supported him for months. That's what you're supposed to do. Well, I can't take any more responsibility in what he does. Good luck finding a suitor who can endure a loser of a husband and his blood-sucking mother. I highly doubt there will be one. You're not serious about the divorce? Of course I am. You started this war. I was only taking a chance. To be honest, I'm really happy. It's like the trash took itself out. <laughs> 
By the way, I had the locks changed, so don't bother coming to visit. Why would you do that? That's still my son's house. Actually, no. It's my house. I bought it when I was still living on my own. And I have a strict policy. No losers allowed. <laughs> Screw you. You'll regret what you've done. Uh, don't worry, I won't. I'm starting a new life for myself and only myself. You're leaving your husband for good? That's what I'm saying this whole time. I give up. <laughs> Have fun bonding together. If I don't get the signed divorce papers in a week, expect to see me in court. Brace yourselves. Court? Wait, you can't embarrass us that way. Then, have the papers ready in a week. Oh, and there's no property worth splitting in this house. So don't expect to get anything from me. It's time you start paying for your keep. Huh? Hold on a second. Hey, are you listening to me? Mick! Few hours later, there were some disturbances caused by two people outside of my house. So I got the father-in-law to pick them up. He put his foot down on them. The divorce papers arrived several days later, so I sent them their remaining possessions. And I myself moved out of that house. Being alone gave me the opportunity to save up. Now I can have the luxury to spend money on myself. I had a little regret on not getting rid of those parasites long ago. But you only live life once, and I want to give life to the fullest from now on. <laughs>